Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back to Mary's Nest. I thought you'd like to come along with me when I make dinner tonight. For dinner tonight, I thought I'd make some halibut and I'm gonna make some broccoli and I've already got some mac and cheese made, but I thought you'd like to come along with me and uh, just keep me a little company and, and I'll keep you company uh, while we make dinner. What I've got here is um, I melted some beef tallow. I just save it from when I make bone broth and then I use it to cook with and it's great for sauteing anything. And these I'm actually almost like a little pan fry because I'm gonna dust them with some Wondra flour. I don't know if you've ever used that. It's uh, sold in a blue box uh, at my grocery store and it's just milled real fine and it's great for dusting fish or chicken breasts or whatever you want and then giving them a little pan saute. And then over here, I've just got some olive oil and uh, some butter that I'm melting. And I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, some red pepper flakes, and then saute up my broccoli. It's very simple, but it's really tasty. And I already made the mac and cheese. I'm just keeping it warm over here. But I'll bring you along for that another time because I have a real easy way to make the cheese sauce where you don't have to worry about cooking the flour and the butter first. You can just put everything in in one fell swoop and it still comes out really great. So it's nice. It's quick and easy, especially for a weeknight meal. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this uh, on. I just, uh, the reason I got the idea to, to bring you along tonight is I just finished filming um, making a tallow bomb from beef tallow and adding some olive oil and some essential oils. Oh, it's so heavenly. I love it. My, I was putting a lot on my hands. They feel so soft and smooth now. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I'll have that video up and hopefully that'll go up before this one maybe. So uh, you can, can get a chance to see that. So I'm just going to bring this up to temp and then I'm going to show you this is the Wondra flower. You see, it's just, it, it is a white flour. I try not to use a ton of white flour, but uh, this just can't be beat uh, for dusting things when you want to give them a little pan saute or a pan fry. So I've just really dried the fish. I'm just going to push this out of the way for a minute. I don't think you'll see that, but. Uh, and then all I do is I just take some salt, give it, put a little salt in there, and a couple of twists of black pepper. That's it. And then I'm just going to dust these. I'm going to mix that up a little. And then I'm just going to dust these and put them aside until the uh, tallow comes up to, t to the right temp that I want to just give these a little pan saute. I've just dried them with the paper towel. Nothing fancy. And this, uh, we normally don't get a chance to have halibut. This is a real treat. I um, Sometimes I buy fish online um, from... Um, Oh, what's the name of the place? Oh, Vital Choice Seafood. Uh, but when I buy the halibut, I normally just buy the pieces because they're inexpensive that I make um, like a real nice fish, uh, kind of not, not really a chowder, like a fish stew with. It's delicious. Uh, but they had a sale, and so I bought these, and it's they're really lovely. They're beautiful fillets, and they come individually wrapped. And uh, when they have a sale, it's really good. It's really a good buy. And uh, I'll put their I'll put a link to their website in the description below if you want to check them out. And sign up for their emails, and then you'll get uh, the notification when they have the sales. And they have them a lot, and then you can get on their mailing list too. They'll send you their catalog. But uh, it's uh, I find it uh, when they have a sale less expensive than my grocery store. And they often, if you order more than ninety nine dollars worth, they it's free shipping, and they pack it beautifully in dry ice and. Um, it comes very timely. It comes like within a few days of your ordering it, and it's really lovely. Alrighty, these have a nice, nice flower coating on them, and that's getting nice and hot, and that's coming up to temp too. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'll be right back. You might notice behind me. I don't. I don't know if you can see this. I, the viewfinder's turned the other way, but I've got. Uh, two fruit scrap vinegars going and they're at that stage where they almost smell really yeasty almost like beer and then I've got this uh, honey that I'm making it's infused with um, 
uh, lemon thyme, marshmallow root, and uh, slippery elm bark. And I'm just infusing this for 30 days and I turn it, you know, once the honey gets that side, then I'll turn it upside down at night and then in the morning I'll turn it back up like this. And I'm gonna, uh, then I'll strain out the herbs and I'll have a great homemade cough medicine. I love it. And uh, I'll definitely film that and take you along. Alrighty, this is starting to do well. I don't want to put the fan on <laughs> because you might, it might be hard to hear me. But I'm just going to go ahead. These are going to probably take about three minutes on each side. So I'm just going to put this around. I'm also going to get my splatter screen. Oh, listen to that. Good. Okay. Ooh. All righty, I'm going to let those cook and put this aside. And then I'm going to get this olive oil and butter mixture up to temp. I'm going to do the same thing like I did to the Wondra Flower. I'm just going to put in a little salt and I'm going to put in a little black pepper here. This really comes flavorful and it's just such an easy, um, quick, it just comes together so quickly. I'm going to put in a little red pepper flakes. My, uh, my husband is a Texan and he likes a little spice. So I'm going to put that in just a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to get that going. I've got that turned up to medium. I'm just going to move that all around. And then I washed my broccoli and I'm not going to add any extra water other than, you know, just what was on the broccoli from being washed. And I cut it up. I save the stalks. They come in handy, you know, for making like a vegetable cream soup, like if you want to do a cream or broccoli or something like that. And then I'm just going to put that in. One, two, three. And that'll just start sauteing up in a little bit. And then the other thing I want to show you, I make a very easy, let me get a tablespoon. I, get a ver I make a very easy uh, tartar sauce. It's nothing fancy. I use, I use this Hain Pure Food Safflower Mayonnaise. I, it's nice to make homemade um, mayonnaise, but to be honest with you, we just don't use it that much uh, where I would be able to make it and, and use it up quickly. So I'm just like a kind of a heaping tablespoon. And so because I don't use it that much, I usually just buy a jar and that works out well. And then to that, I add a little bit, actually more than a little bit, I add a pretty good uh, heaping teaspoon. And then I've washed this lemon. And then what I'm gonna do is I like to add the zest Boy, it gives some good flavor. I love the zest of the lemon, but I love lemon anything. So, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all the juice of this lemon, but you could just do half if, if you don't like things too lemony, or you can just completely leave it out. Oh, I meant to tell you, this relish, uh, I buy it at Whole Foods. It does have sugar in it, so it's a sweet relish. I find that, uh, nice for you know making tartar sauce. That's oh I don't know if did I say that's what I'm making. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put this on top of the fish. That'll be good. Okay. Alrighty, let me just get a knife. I'll cut this lemon. I'll juice it, and then I'll mix this all up. I got my little board over here. I think that's out of the screen, but and there's a lot of seeds in this lemon. So I'm just going to juice it over my hand like this. The fish is coming along nicely. I like halibut. It's got a real uh, meaty kind of texture to it. Sort of like salmon. Uh, it's lovely. Okay, good. Let me get the juice out of this one now. And I think that broccoli is starting to heat up. That's going to be nice too. We 
eat a lot of broccoli, but we like it very simply prepared. I mean, maybe putting a cheese sauce on it would be a little fancy. That might be nice. Okay, let me just get a towel. I'm just going to dry off my hands here. And so that's, I find, we eat very simple dinners. I think I mentioned to you that I did uh, buy a meal fee, which is like an Instant Pot, but it's just a different brand. And uh, we're going to, my husband and I are going to experiment with it together. He's helping me. I have a little bit of a chicken with it. I, you know, I'm old enough to remember all those stories about fr pressure cookers <laughs> back when I was a kid. That, uh, the lid flying off and stuff on the ceiling and all over the kitchen. Although I know that uh, that these modern ones are a lot different. So, but I'm looking forward to giving that a try. And it might be nice. The thing that I want to do with it is um, the first thing I'm going to do. I'm sorry for the banging. But see, that's just it. And then so it makes kind of a. It's it's a little thinner actually than a tartar sauce. It's more like a, an actual sauce because I add the lemon juice in. But we find we really like it uh, like this. It just covers the fish and flavors it beautifully. Okay, I'm just going to give this a little bit of turning this around a bit. I don't have the. You're probably seeing all the smoke. I don't have the fan on so that. Uh, you guys can hear me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's basically what I do. I just move this around and I'll just let it cook. I'll make sure that it's all covered. I want every piece to get some of the butter and the olive oil on it. And then I'll put the lid on, but I won't cover it completely. I'm going to um, Sort of angle it a bit because I don't want to. Let's see if I can get in here. I don't want to um, have the, lose the color. And if you put, I'm just going to do that. That'll help it cook a bit. If I, I'm going to check the fish now, if if I cover it completely like that, the color gets a little off. Oh, that's getting a nice crust on it. So I'm going to let it go a little more. This is actually a pancake turner, but I find it works really well with the fish. I like those fish uh, spatulas that I've seen around, but I have to look for one that's non-stick because this is a scan pan, and which I love. These scan pans I love. They're just terrific non-stick pans, especially the the newer ones. That I think it's C plus. I forget what they call it. Um, but they're really lovely, and I don't want to, I'm so careful, I don't want to uh, damage it. But uh, it's supposed to be, you know, kind of one of the more modern, healthy nonstick pans, you know, that don't give off uh, whatever. <laughs> That's not supposed to be good for you. So these are supposed to be like a healthier version. This is coming along nice. Let me see how this one is looking. Oh, it looks lovely. Okay, I'm going to just flip this over. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's got a lovely crust. The tallow just does such a nice job uh, when you're pan frying something. It's really nice. Okay, I'm going to keep letting that cook and then I'm going to tend to the broccoli. And I'm just going to go ahead and put these back in the fridge. The sauce is ready. We'll be ready to eat dinner pretty soon. And this is coming along nicely. We like it pretty al dente. And I'm actually what I'm going to do is add another pat of butter to this. I'm definitely from the Julius Child School of Cooking. There's never enough butter. <laughs> I'm just going to put a good, yeah, maybe this is the equivalent of a tablespoon or two. Just, it gives such wonderful flavor. I'm going to let that melt in now that it's cooking. And let me put this back in the fridge. Oh, the fish smells delicious. This is going to be nice. Another side dish that I like to do that's quick and easy, I don't have it tonight, but in the summer when those um, 
these nice round tomatoes. Uh, the, uh, oh, I forget, what are they called? Uh, not the celebrity ones, uh, the Camparis. Um, they're almost like large cherry tomatoes, you know, they're, they're about this big, but I cut them in half and then I just put them cut side down in some olive oil, again, with just some salt and pepper and a little bit red pepper flakes. And then I just uh, uh, let them cook and they soften up, they're really sweet. And I just top them then, I take some uh, panko breadcrumb, toss them with a little melted butter and then top the tomatoes. I don't put them under the broil or anything, it's not necessary. And they're so tasty. My husband just inhales them. He loves them. I can make a whole package. He can eat the whole package in one sitting. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna make another video. I'm gonna make. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do tomato sauce with the food mill, which I love. I don't know if you have a food mill or if you've tried one. I love it because it's such a time saver, and they're inexpensive between $20 and $30, you know, a lot less expensive than a blender or a, a food processor, anything like that. And they're so nice. Just gonna turn that down to low. That's getting close to done. I'm just gonna put the lid on like that. They're so delicious. And uh, <laughs> not the bug, I'm looking at that thinking it's so delicious. No, the food mills are so handy. And I make a tomato sauce where I just throw the tomatoes in, unpeeled, the whole deal. Onions, unpeeled. I take a big head of garlic, just cut it in half, throw that in, let it cook for a couple of hours, and then I put the whole thing through the food mill, and I have a magnificent tomato sauce with very little waste. And all that's left over in the food mill are the very thin tomato skins, the onion skins, the garlic skins, and the seeds. And you have this gorgeous tomato sauce. So easy. And I mean, I, I can't say enough about the food mill. So I'm gonna make that for, for you all to watch. And uh, yeah, I hope you really think about it if you come across any travels. Sometimes I'll see them like at Marshall's and whatnot. And the, I have an old one, but the newer ones are all stainless steel and then you can even throw the whole thing in the dishwasher. I can throw parts of mine in the dishwasher, but the handle on my, the main body of it is wood. So that I just wash out. But, even then, it's just so quick, it's so easy. So, well, I think this fish is done. I think this broccoli is ready to go. And I think we're ready to eat dinner. Alrighty, well, I think this is ready to eat. This looks really good. And I think that uh, this filet looks beautiful. They both look great. This one's a little thinner. I'm gonna take this one off right now. Well, that looks delicious. And then I'm going to get a little broccoli. Oh, here's my thing. Yeah, this is such an easy side dish. I mean, it's not, not a recipe even, but just something, just a quick, easy way to prepare a broccoli that makes it so tasty. Okay, you got that. And then I'll show you them. I think the macaroni and cheese I'm actually going to put in a little bowl so that it doesn't get all mixed in because I'm going to put this sauce on top. This is going to be luscious. Oh, look at that. There's never enough sauce. And there we have it. Dinner's ready. That wasn't bad at all. Kind of ready in no time. Well, it was fun having you come and join me when I made dinner, and I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to come along for more dinners and enjoy cooking from scratch and also making home remedies uh, that I do in some of my other videos, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And be sure to click on the little notification bell that'll let you know each time I upload a new video. Well, that's all for today, but I want to thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to having you join me next time right here in my Texas Hill Country Kitchen. Love and God bless. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed making dinner with me, I think you'll enjoy these videos as well. 
and be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell that'll let you know each time I upload a new video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.